Hi, this is Renee from Renee Artworks. I did a video um, with a flip cup the other day and this is the end painting result. Um, and so I have that. I You can find me on facebook.com slash Renee Artworks or I'm on Instagram with Renee Artworks. I spelled the exact same way as this channel. Um, what I want to show today is this was the skin that came off from this painting when I did it. I had it like this and this is all the paint that came out around it. What I do with that now is I take it off this plastic. You can get this big sheets at the hardware store. I'm not sure where I have the roll right now. What I do is I just detach it from the cups and sometimes the underneath is cooler than the top. Like, this was one that I had, um, that was the top, but look at what happened to the bottom. It's really amazing. You know, you never know what side. This was another one, but then look at the bottom. It's really cool. And so, I'm going to rip these cups off real quick. And I'd already kind of peeked at this. This is the area I want to show you um, that I want to use because I put them in these. And I make jewelry out of them. And I found this spot that I'm in love with. This little area right here. And so that's what I'm going to use out of this skin. I save all my skins. I make collages with them. You know, nothing goes to waste. I'm a complete hippie with my art. And so I always find... Because of the flow tall, it makes this real rubbery feeling. So it's really good use for other things. And I like this spot right in here. So I'm going to set that there. Sharpies are the best things to sign your paintings with. And it makes a good line. And then I draw that out. It's going to be a little bit wider. So I'm not going to waste your time showing you how I cut this up. And I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Um, this is, now that it's been cut out and pressed in, this is the skin inside it. And next, I'm going to mix up some resin and pour over top and I'll show you that process. Now we're going to look at the resin. Um, to me, any resin will work for this. Uh, I, I just went to the hardware store and found some cheap. It's a glaze coat countertop. It's food safe. You know, babies stick jewelry in their mouth. So I just, I think that it's best to use this kind. Um, it's just like any other resin or epoxy. You do equal parts. This is a hardener. This is the stuff. So I'm going to use, this is the supplies you need. A cup measuring the resin of course whatever you're putting the resin on stick definitely gloves too much contact with the skin can make your skin break out um, eventually you'll get rashes and stuff from allergies to the resin so I'm gonna do equal parts of this I love that light We're going to the second line. I try and get all the resin out. And I reuse everything. This stick was used in gold. Um, the, these cups have been used many, many times. The resin will just peel right out of these once it's hard. And um, same with this paint resin, it all pops out. And then I can use it as skins. So I just use everything. Um, here's my lines. And then, so we're done mixing the resin. Um, and what I do is I let it sit for a second. It gets most of the bubbles out because. I mean, you can stir it really slowly and you don't get a lot of bubbles, but I am not patient, which will work good for this video because I'll show you how you get rid of bubbles. I guess there is one more thing you need, which is a torch or a heat gun. It helps 
pull the bubbles out. So you get a good amount of resin in there. And I would suggest giving this in layers with this because then you can get the bubbles out easier. bubbles are gone make sure you have this on a flat surface so when it dries it's a, almost all resin epoxy is self leveling it will dry or harden at whatever angle you have it at so if it's flat it'll and the nice thing about this resin even though it's a hardware resin it does self dome so more bubbles. Okay, all the bubbles are out. And I will show this when it is dry.